welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Amy. My pleasure to be here. So we're going to get your tech confession today. I want to hear about your software-defined moment. When, as a technologist, you really got into software? I would say that it was around 2000, probably, when I heard the first time Microsoft, Google, all these vendors talking about cloud computing. So I come from an um, exchange, exchange background. I was Microsoft Messaging. I was working for Microsoft back in that days. And I realized that they were moving people to cloud. So when they said, what does it mean to be in the cloud? The example was everyone got a Hotmail account. So everyone is using, a, in somehow or another, is using cloud services. Right. So from that moment, I realized that cloud was something that was coming. And I, I get into that. And then after a few years, we start talking about software can do better than hardware. And it's when I said, this is the moment where I see software managing everything in the data center and probably it's going to span beyond data centers. So I, I know we were talking before, and you keep your watch set on your own local time, but you get to travel the world. So what is, are people thinking about the cloud and about where we're going in the same way, or do you see a lot of difference across the globe when you travel? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, in, some, in some countries, they are really, really at the leech, at the edge of the technology. So uh, they actually are in a very mature phase. So yes, I do travel a lot. I am traveling probably 50 weeks a year. Um, my role is a global role, so I cover the whole world. Um, but my focus is APJ. I'm based in Sydney, so APJ Europe is really, really ahead with the cloud implementation, with, this, with the concept of software defined. Is they are really mature in that space. I'm not saying that Euro America is not. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying we don't know how to play <laughs> soccer and we're not in the club. <laughs> no, no I, didn't, I didn't mean that, actually. I just meant that I, in most of this, or in most of the, this what, area of the world, most of the time. And what do you think that is? Like, if you were to, what has been your observation? Why do you think some areas have gone ahead and gotten in the lead with that? What was some, some of the inspiration, do you think, that's... Um, I think cause. Yeah. Uh, mainly cause. So when we, it's, I mean... I, I go and see customers and we talk about we're going to do a deployment of 120 million. Yeah. And for them, it's normal. 120 million is just another project. But in, in different gloves, in different part of the world, if we talk about 50 million, probably it's even... That's a what, big deployment for them? Wow, well, it's yeah. massive. We're talking probably about $2 million and there's still a massive deployment. Yeah. So 100% uh, cost is one of the, one, the things that I see that... But again, we're talking about top... 10 companies in the world, so. Right. But definitely cost. That is so interesting. So if you were to put in your your magic magic ball, like looking uh, to the future, what would you say, what do you think is coming? I think the future is going to be, I mean, technology is changing very fast. Um, uh, I couldn't see, it. probably if I get back in time three or four years ago, I couldn't see it where we are now. Right, you're surprised at how quickly it's even... 100%. Yeah. For, for me, it's a, it's a massive change in what, we, what happened in three years. So how we are moving. And what I see is coming and still is the way that we are doing IT. I mean, being we're actually transforming the way that IT is done. That's uh, what, meaning like not just the technology itself, but how we implement and how we implement how we think it. about it and architect it. Exactly, and we getting back to the point we are doing now, or we are leading everything to the software. We understand software that things better. So for me, I think the next step is going to be machine learning, artificial intelligence. That's something that is here right now, but in probably two or three years, it's going to be even more. So everyone is going to be talking about artificial intelligence. We now see that we can talk with robots. Robots can do better than us if we program wow. in, the, <laughs> in the right way. <laughs> so I think that's the way that we are going to. That is so interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your perspective with us. No, my pleasure to be here again. Thank you. And when you're ready to make your tech confession, join us at techconfessionstheshow.com.